Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Training Videos. And in this video, I am going to show you how to create VMware cluster and enable DRS, which is known as a distributed resource sh scheduler. So the first thing, what is a uh, cluster? Cluster in a VMware cluster is a basically a logical object which may combines of of uh, uh, ESXi host, virtual machine. So we can we can bunch few ESXos more than two ESX or three ESXos together, and they can work as a cluster and they can share the load balance and everything. So DRS is a technology in a cluster feature which we can enable to. Uh, distribute the load uh, like virtual machine load and in in all their ESXi hosts which is participated in their uh, that particular cluster so we'll see how cl how to create cluster and how to enable DRS and how it's work also so here is my demo environment if you see I'm using five virtual machine which we are using from since uh, last few videos the first virtual machine is a Win2K12 GC01 which is my ActiveDirectory server if we go here you can see uh, ActiveDirectory and DNS role is installed on this machine and this machine called Win2K12 DC01 and victorinfosol.com is my domain name and the second machine is vCenter65 which is my vCenter server if I go here this is my vCenter65 server you can see and we have installed vCenter6.5 on this machine let me log into vSphere web client so we can see what we have and we have three ESXi host ESXi 1, 2 and 3 which is running all all running 6 uh, 6.5 you can see here VMware ESXi 6.5 all having two logical CPU and 12 gig of RAM all these ESXi host so three ESXi host this is my vCenter server going to log in v VMware vSphere web client So here we go. We have three, all three ESXi host one, two, and three is added in our vCenter server, direct in a data center which is called uh, Noida DC. And now I'm going to create one cluster, and then we will enable the DRS on that cluster. So let's create one cluster. Right click on uh, here on on data center I'm going to click on new cluster and it will ask the cluster name so I'm going to put here prod noida cl I just put prod noida this is going to be a cluster name and we have you can see the location it's under noida DC and we have option here to enable DRS and HA so I'm going in this video I'm going to focus on new cluster and DRS only and next video we will focus on HA also so if I expand this DRS option you can see if, if I tick here uh, turn, uh, turn on then you can see here we have automation level and we have also migration th threshold so I'm going to set it aggressive aggressive means whenever it see some like uh, uh, some difference some load difference like ESXi1 is getting load and ESXi2 is not getting load so it's move the virtual machine a a aggressively automatic so this is we have a fully automated and this is have we have a manual so this is going to uh, in ma manual this is going to s uh, source a uh, recommendation like uh, you have a load on ESXi1 you can move this to ESXi2 so it's going to give a recommendation and we have a partially automated which is also going to show recommendation at some time it will do the automation for us so I'm going to do the fully automate um, and let's go and click on OK so now you can see we have created cluster under Noida DC and if I refresh it you can see we have a prod noida cluster created and now you can see in this cluster we don't have any ESXi virtual machine so I'm going to move the these three ESXi host in this cluster prod hyphen noida so how we can do this we can easily drag and drop like I'm selecting my ESX1 and drag and drop to uh, prod noida and 
it will take few seconds to give us the wizard for moving the ESXi host in cluster so we have to wait for few seconds here now here we go you can see move host into this cluster so this is giving some option like put all the all the hosted virtual machine and cluster resource and on the root so we we don't have created any resource pool now so it's going to be in pool uh, default root pool also by default and we have option to create a resource pool for host and virtual machine so i'm going to use the default one all the virtual machine is going to put in the root resource so it's good click ok now you can see the move host in cluster is completed and now if i refresh this you can see ESXi1 is gone in cluster and same I'm going to do with ESXi2 also so click OK it's moved and ESXi3 now so now you can see we have moved just click on refresh to get the refresh the space so now you can see all three our three ESXi host is moved in prod hyphen noida cluster so if I go here you can see what we have we have three hosts in this cluster we have two virtual machine and if I go here you can see virtual machine one is currently on ESXi one and if I go to select ESX uh, virtual machine two is also on ESXi one so we'll see how uh, DRS is going to move this machine so before this go to prod and if I, if you go to configuration this is going to show us the uh, cluster configuration so you can see we have lots of option here like profile host option licensing everything so i'm going to click here on vs uh, vspare uh, drs which we are going to focus right now so what i'm going to do if you if you see here we have a multiple option here power management advanced option so what I'm focusing here, you can see migrate threshold five, uh, five, priority five is recommendations, and V center will apply recommendation, change that promise even uh, like cluster load balance to do this. So I'm going to click here on uh, schedule DRS. So if I click here, it will give you option like what you want to schedule. So we have auto already scheduled uh, fully automated and uh, the you can see here we have selected the let me browse here we have selected the aggressive migration threshold is access also we have here few option like you can see here we have a option VM distribution for availability distributed like it will you know, uh, check the number of virtual machine how many virtual machine is hosted it will move the uh, try to uh, load the equal virtual machine we have a memory and load balancing and we have a CPU over commit also so I'm going to take all these three and uh, let's click OK and now you can see it's schedule option is not configured so we have to schedule when this DRS profile is going to run so if I go here uh, change configure schedule if I click here you can see we have an option here to run this act uh, run, run this action now and we have also run this action after startup like like how many miners and we have a schedule this action for like some particular time and we have schedule this uh, uh, set up a recurring reoccurring schedule for this action so I'm going to schedule this for uh, hours and every one hours is going to run this uh, DRS schedule and if it's fine anything wrong it will move the virtual machine and at the correct location by default so I'm going to click OK and if I click OK now you can see create schedule task is completed and now if I go on ESXi virtual machine 1 you can see it's still 1 and this is still on 1 so what I'm going to do now I'm going to power on this virtual machine go here on a power option and power on so now you can see this virtual machine is powered on 
and same I'm going to power my second virtual machine now So now you can see by default uh, DRS move this virtual machine from ESXi 1 to ESXi 2. So DRS is uh, done his work. So if I go on ESXi uh, virtual machine 1, it's running on ESXi 1 and it's this machine is running on ESXi 2. And now if I go on ES, uh, machine 2 on a monitor and task and event, you can see here what's going on. So DRS power on this machine on ESXi2 so it's mean the DRS is working and also you can see complete relocation virtual machine it's done and the and 2 on host ESXi2 is on DC2 is starting and so the DRS is worked and by by using the DRS the load is uh, distributed in our cluster so if I go here on VMs you can see the status so both the machine is power on and on a different different host so now if I click here you can see this machine have one host one virtual machine and if I click on two you can see one virtual machine is hosting on this and three is ideal because we don't have any third virtual machine so good it's working and now what we can do if we uh, like we have created one hyper uh, VMware cluster and enable the DRS and wh what if if we need to move this ESXi host out of cluster so what we need to do uh, so I'm going to move all these uh, uh, three ESXi host out, out of the cluster and we'll show how how it's how to move cluster uh, ESXi host out of cluster so on three if I click here and if I going to drag and drop in Noida DC, it's going to give us message. One or more hosts are not in maintenance mode, so we need to make sure the uh, host is uh, in maintenance mode before before moving out of the cluster. So you can see move power off and suspend virtual machine in other hosts. So it's going to be on third. We don't have any machine, so it's very easy. It will move enter in the maintenance mode and now if I go here let me refresh it and show you how it's going to s and now you can see we, uh, we have a small icon here with the, some uh, symbols which is showing the ma the machine is on maintenance mode so I'm going to put this out so now you can see move intra so it's move and if I refresh it you can see it's out of the cluster and now we can um, move this machine out of uh, maintenance mode so now you can see it's out of maintenance mode and same I'm going to do this with 2 and now you can see 2 is running ESXi2 is running a uh, second virtual machine which is a Win2K8R2DC01 and if I am going to move, put this machine in maintenance mode it will move the virtual machine if I click OK you can see the what the following host are in a DRS exe one or more virtual machine might need to be migrated to another host and cluster are powered off so before request operation can proceed okay click here so now you can see entering is the maintenance mode is running and it's migrated to the virtual machine now if I refresh it you can see there was no virtual machine and if I go on ESXi1 you can see both the virtual machine as is now running on ESXi1 so good to go and now what I'm going to do this I'm going to move this out of cluster refresh it so now you can see all uh, these machines are out of cluster so I'm going to exit from maintenance mode and refresh it and now what I'm what I'm going to do I'm going to move this virtual machine out of cluster then we'll migrate the ESXi one so click on migrate and change the compute resource only click next and now we have a um, here all three ESXi hosts so I'm going to select two and click next leave the everything default and move this virtual machine and now you can see the virtual machine is being migrated relocate virtual machine is running and same I'm going to do with second is second virtual machine so migrate uh, 
change compute resource only the filters it's going to show me the ESXi host so I'm going to move it with, with the default options now you can see the two virtual machine has been moved uh, one virtual machine has been moved and second is relocate virtual machine is running so it will take few seconds to migrate virtual machine from one ESXi host to another then we can go ahead and uh, move the ESXi one out of cluster and we can destroy the cluster even so give me some time to relocate complete the relocate this machine so it's almost done so completed and now if I refresh it you can see it's it's out of cluster now virtual machine is out of cluster so I'm going to put this ESXi one in cluster maintenance mode and I, if I refresh it you can see it's maintenance mode so I'm going to get out of cluster so now you can see all three SXI host is out of cluster and now I'm going to destroy the cluster so click on cluster and you can go and select delete so deleting a cluster remove uh, the host and virtual machine in inventory to delete the cluster and now if I refresh it you can see cluster gone remove cluster is completed and now we have back to our previous stage which is 3 SXI host and 2 virtual machine so so this is all about creating the VMware cluster and deleting the cluster, how to enable DRS, how to work with DRS and how DRS works, moving the virtual machine from one ESX host to second ESX host or other ESX host. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or any question related to this, you can post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.